Oh, hello. <laughs> Greetings, everybody. My name is Ty, and welcome back to Etherblade. We're still in the abandoned mine shaft where we last left off, next to these uh, cave spider spawner. And I tried, as you can see, the markings over here. Uh, I tried to connect this. Oh, okay. <laughs> this spawner to the other one over here. But as you can see, this is the furthest I can be from this spawn in order for it to actually be active. And if we go all the way over here, really quick. Uh, all right, if we go over here, this is the furthest I can be from that spawner in order for it also be active. So it's just a little bit unpractical to have both spawners uh, being used at the same time. Uh, Alright, so after last episode, I kept on exploring this abandoned mine shaft and I found two more spawners. One over here, all the way over there, and I also have markings. This is the furthest I can be from this spawner over here. And this mark, it's the furthest I can be from that spawner over there. So it's the closest that I've ever gotten any spawner, any two spawners to be able to work and we could work something out and i also found another spawner over here uh see if i can remember exactly where it is i think so should be over here there you go i found another spawner over here and i tried to connect this spawner to both that one in the, the spawner the uh, normal uh, spider spawner over there but you know markings over here for this way i can be from this spawner for it to work uh, it's still a little bit, a uh, little bit far, far away from this one, and it's even further away from this one. I also have markings somewhere if I can find them. Okay, let me see if I can find it. All right, so this is the furthest I can be from that spawner, and if we go all the way over here. This is uh, the furthest I can be from that spawner over there. So it's all of those are pretty unpractical. Anyways, I um, I was exploring the village. Remember the first episode? I spoke about a village that I found, and below that village there is an abandoned mine shaft, and something amazing happened. So let me show you what I found. Okay, and here we are. Here we are at the village. I took the liberty to lock every single village uh, inside their own houses. They have beds and everything to prevent them from being killed by the uh, raids. Now, uh, villagers can be a target of raids by pillagers, uh, nor they can be killed by zombies during nighttime. I found this by, by accident, actually. I was... Um, I was next to the village one time when nighttime came and because I didn't have the bed and all the villagers were occupying their own beds, I got myself um, or I barricaded myself into this house and I thought maybe I can do some strip mining while I wait for the day to come back and I kept uh, digging straight down as you can see and I found this area over here which is an abandoned mine shaft. Okay, let me just try not to take some fall damage. You know, uh, I barely, I've barely uh, lighted anything up. Uh, most of this is still, um, is still up to to explore. Uh, I've I've got some some items and everything, but most of the items are still around, and I need to uh, thoroughly check what can I do with this. Hey, let me see. Can I trap this? This is a, this is a zombie villager, right? Can I trap you? That's my question. Can I trap you? And potentially... Hello? A little bit of a, a side project. Oh, hello! How oh, did you go up there? Okay, so... Come back over here. Come back over here. Come back. You know what? I don't care. Honestly. I'll have time to deal with those later. Anyways. Uh, the thing I want to show you is what I found over here. Let me just uh, dig these up. Okay. If you go over here, I found some skeleton spawners. Right? And a little bit further uh, down the road, all the way over here, I found... Uh, 
I found some zombie spawners over here. Okay. And I thought maybe instead of... Um, I plan on going back and building a cave spider spawner... Um, or a cave spider farm, sorry, uh, using some of those. I want to use uh, these um, zombie spawner to find zombie villagers that we can uh, heal back into uh, villagers. And I want to use the skeleton spawner all the way over here. If I can go back there. And use the skeleton spawner for XP and also the drops of the bows and arrows and bones that the skeletons drop are better drops and more useful for me right now than actually uh, spider eyes and string. I do have, as you can see here with the markings made out of wool, you know, I have uh, sheep and I can get all the wool that I need and I have more than enough string for anything that I might want to create such as bows or fishing rods. So I decided, well, we're going to use, uh, we're going to work on this. So basically these uh, markings over here, uh, one thing that you need to know, if in, in case you don't know about spawners, is spawners will try to spawn either one to four mobs every 10 to 14 seconds within a nine by nine by three area. So basically this is the furthest away from the spawner that the spawner will actually try to spawn a mob at. And mobs can spawn at the, the level of the spawner, one below and one above. So basically this area, it's all the, uh, all the area where the, the skeletons can spawn. And that's what I'm going to use to create a cage around it so it can trap the skeletons and funnel them into an area we can kill them at. And if we go over here, we have another marking over here. This is 16 blocks away from the, the spawner, which means this is obviously the furthest away you can be from the spawner. So the spawnerly, uh, the, the spawnerly. <laughs> this is the furthest that you can be from the spawner in order for the spawner to work. I also created another portal over here so we can travel back and forth to the main uh, land or the main base uh, quicker. And I also got me a crafting table and some... Um, I got some items over here. I got an enchantment table because I want to make some enchantments. And I thought uh, I thought about bringing the enchantment table over here. I also brought some some books and some bookshelves that we can use to create an enchantment area over here since we're going to be using the skeleton spawner to gain XP. So first things first, what I want to do, as you can see, I have 32 levels right now and I want to do an enchantment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this area a little bit and I'm going to create the um, enchantment area. And I'm also going to uh, clear out the area where these skeletons will spawn. And I'll be right back with you guys. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so now we have an enchantment area, so let's give it a try. I have I have a diamond pickaxe that I made. Hello. Uh, I have a diamond pickaxe that I made because I needed to grab me some, um, some obsidian. And we have efficiency 4, so let's try to get... Maybe you can get something else other than efficiency 4. Alright, efficiency 4, fortune 2. <laughs> Not perfect, I would prefer fortune 3, but beggars can be choosers right now. And we just got an advancement. Uh, okay, alright, so we got the advancement enchanter. And I also killed a uh, guest with his own fireball, and that's what the other enchantment is. Destroy a guest with a fireball, yeah, there you go. So I got two, two advancements in this uh, Minecraft session. So on with uh, clearing up these areas so we can start working on the uh, mm. skeleton farm.
Okay, so we're back. We're back and we uh, open up a space. This is gonna be the chamber where uh, the skeletons will spawn. Down there we're gonna have to open some canals to funnel them into a one by two area. And they will end up somewhere over here so we can kill them at a later stage. Uh, right now I'm looking for functionality. After we have the area... The area um, after we, we build the uh, the farm and it's functional and uh, skeletons start to spawn and we actually start to rank up uh, levels with the XP from them, then that's when we're gonna start polishing the, the rooms, uh, if we can call it, and polishing the, uh, the spawn area itself so it looks uh, good, but for the time being I'm... I'm uh, but for the time being I'm looking for functionality first, I wanna build something that works, build something that I'm happy with, and then we're gonna start uh, looking into the design, how we can make it look pretty and everything. Anyways, as you can see, I'm now level 30, and I'm going to grab myself another enchantment. But as you can see here, the enchantments that I, uh, that I have available for my tools are all efficiency 3, 2, and 1. I don't want uh, to put efficiency 3 on a diamond pickaxe as you can imagine. I have a wooden pickaxe just in case we have some very bad luck on the enchantments and I just use one level uh, to enchant a wooden pickaxe and throw it away. But since we have something along the lines of uh, efficiency 3, I'm thinking I can put that on an iron pickaxe and that's going to last me for for a little while. So what I'm going to do is going to make one iron tool really quickly. I don't have iron on me. Okay, let me grab three pieces of iron really quick. There you go. And two sticks, three iron ingots, iron pickaxe. Here you go. And I'm going to place these over here and I'm going to place all three and efficiency three. Okay, in breaking three, efficiency three is something that I'm happy with until we can get something better for our diamond pickaxes. I don't want to be wasting. I have fortune two now, but, but prior to this, I did not have any fortune and I don't want to waste my, my um, levels or my diamonds on enchanting a diamond with low tier enchantments. Anyways, um, so now I'm going to start working on the canals, working on uh, the path that the skeletons will have to take in order to end up somewhere over here. So I'll see you guys in a little bit Okay, so we're back as you just saw because I was actually recording I was uh, trying the new canals that I created and there's one thing that I did not remember which is skeletons no longer try to swim upwards so if they are over here, and if they have a pocket of, way of air, like they do right here, they will not try to swim upwards. So that that so that's a problem, which is mobs won't try to swim upwards, and we cannot have these ele mob elevators. So I need to redo redesign this area over here to force them to go upwards. So I'm gonna work. I'm gonna work on redesign that elevator over there, and this is where the mobs will drop. By the way, this is 16 blocks away. I just thought it was nice to send them all the way over here, and I I sealed this area because I died and I went up up there again to retrieve my items. Anyways, I'm gonna redesign that, and I'll be shortly with you. All right, so uh, we're back. We're back and I created a new elevator system. I actually, uh, before we had this one by one over here where the mobs, before mobs would try to swim up when they were in the water. They don't do that anymore. At least skeletons and zombies and what, whatever, yeah, they don't do that anymore. So I go and I went by a three by three area over here and I tried to have the same system but on a three wide area. And the problem was mobs would go up the stairs and be halfway on the stairs, halfway on the next uh, water current. And sometimes they would get stuck and require them to wait for another skeleton to come over and push them over the edge in order to climb. Which made the climb very impractical because it would require 
uh, certain uh, certain criteria, aka we would need a certain amount of skeletons bumping onto each other to force one of them to go into the next uh, water stream. And I thought, no, that's not what I'm going for. I want to do something where uh, they don't need help from anybody. So basically now skeletons need to be spoon-fed and everything needs to be done with them. And I believe this is, this is a 5x5 five five elevator. Uh, not the most compact one I could have built, but the one that I felt like uh, I could build very easily without having to put redstone on it. I guess we could make a one by one area or a three by three one with uh, redstone that would not require uh, skeletons to bump on each other. But I don't have slime balls or enough slime, ball slime balls to do that. And I also don't think it's uh, it's something I should do for my first project. Anyways, this is this is this is gonna work. I don't necessarily need these five by five area anyways. This is right next to the the spawner as you can see over here. And basically, if I just go over here, and mind you that I'm not clicking uh, forward or left or right I'm just being pulled by the water current and hopefully the skeletons won't have any problems climbing this one up so I think I'm just going to uh, fast forward all the way up there and I'll see you at the top All right, and here we go. Basically, this is the uh, elevator that I have, and hopefully skeletons won't have any problems climbing up to here. But let me just finishing uh, finish this one up really quickly, and we have uh, we can have a field test with it, with actual mobs that need to they need to ride on here. Okay, so let me do this and this, and yet again we need one more. Okay, one sign over here, one sign over there, to hold the water, and this will keep the water flowing up to here. And now I'm going to use this stone axe that I created just so I could chop off these ladders that I used to climb all the way up there. Okay, there you go. I can hear a zombie nearby. About the zombie pigments that were around here before, I think they despawned, they just wander off and they despawned or something like that. I actually had to went back to get some food and to get more wood to create uh, signs because I didn't have enough wood down here to create signs. So that's that might be the might have been when they uh, despawn. Anyways, let me just finish this one up. I'm gonna place this and make sure that it connects. There you go. And it's a little bit slow. I wish that the transition from from this corner into the next water flow would be a little bit uh, faster. As you can see, it's not very fast. They, they look like they they slow down a little bit, and I don't I don't want that. Maybe we can pull uh, these water stream stream one block over here, and that will make it uh, easier. But let's see let's see once I lay down the water over here. Let's see how this goes. And okay, good thing I got those ladders. Anyways, let me just grab. I also made an infinite, infinite water source over here. And I don't know why I, I filled all the buckets, but well, I did it, so it's done now. Okay. Alright, so mobs will go over here. I'm starting to think that this area is actually pretty slow. Uh, can I, hopefully, can I do something like this? Where mobs would come over here, and they would fall. Actually, I think, I think I need to do something like this first. Uh, or maybe not. Okay. So this will always have to be, will always be a little bit slow. Okay. And I know, I have a water source, a water source block over here. And now what I can do here to make it a little bit faster is... 
Where are my signs? Where's my signs? I need another sign, seriously? Okay. I don't want to place these on on the sign. Okay. So I'm gonna place another water over here. And this torch, actually, I don't want this torch here. It probably won't affect the spawner rate, but anyways, I do want... And okay, everything's breaking right now, alright. So, that shouldn't be a problem, but just because I like to do things properly. I don't want any baby zombies to be able to enter the system. Uh, not that it would be a problem, but anyways, let me just go make some more signs. I'll be right back. Okay, let me see. This won't mess up the, the wire, won't will it? Hopefully, hopefully not. Let me see. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. They'll live. They'll live. Okay. And he also makes it a little bit faster over here, which is something that I that I can appreciate. And maybe right, I'm gonna close this one off over here. Oh, hello sign. You don't need to be there now. So let me take you out. There you go. And maybe I can even keep these here. Right? If I do this, I don't know, if I do this, it won't work. If I take it out, okay, let me just make sure. There you go, yeah. We'll, we'll see, we'll see, okay. Alright, we'll see. I'm gonna get rid of these uh, wool, I'm gonna get rid of the torches, and we'll uh, check how this goes. Okay. Gonna seal this, seal this off, so mobs cannot get inside the system. And you're gonna seal this one off as well. Gonna actually do that. And all right, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine, buddy. So if they aggro, if they aggro you, they can't fight the current. Or at the very least, they can't fight the current all the way over there. No, they can't find the current. If they if they uh, aggro you, they can and will fight the current, which is something that I don't want them to do. Okay, so far so good. He's going. All right, I also want to, I want to destroy that, but I also don't want to get killed by these guys because I, I was killed before. I, I was building this while watching Barcelona versus Liverpool, and when Messi scored their third goal, I, I was watching and re-watching that goal because it was a, an amazing free kick, and I got killed by these guys. I completely forgot what I was doing. Anyways. Back to Minecraft. Alright. Go. Go. Uh, okay. Alright. That should improve the spawn rates a little bit. Where, where's my food? Right here. Okay. There's no mobs over here still. I'm not sure how long it will take them to go up their water stream. So let me just wait a little bit. So it's working, as you can see over here. And it this is built in such a way that if they stand on a block, they are at either 1 HP or 2 HP uh, without armor. If they have armor, see? One punch. If they have armor, pent leads two hits. If they don't have armor, is a one hit kill, which is also something very good. All right, stop. 
I hate you. I can tell you hate me too. You know, I guess it's fair enough. Uh, okay, alright. Let me grab my food. I always forget where my, my cod is. Alright. But it's working, which is good. Very happy about that one. And because it's working, for the time being, I want to enclose the area on glass. Do I have enough glass over here? Mm, do I have glass over here? I, oh, I have a stack of glass over here. That should be... That should be great. And for, for the time being, I'm going to uh, enclose this area in glass so you can see the spawns. Uh, in, a, in a future episode, I do want to uh, make it look a little bit better. Obviously, this does not this is not very appealing. Neither is this chamber. I actually want to uh, add a few functions to this chamber. This killing chamber over here. Yeah, these these guys uh, with golden armor. I don't like you. Just to die, okay? Anyways, it's, it, but it's working pretty good. I mean, I, I'm enjoying this. And hopefully... Okay. I wanted to do this. So it won't affect spawns. And I also need to close that in that. I'm guessing that the light there... I need to either uh, put more light in there. I mean, put less light in there. I think I need to go and destroy Torture 2 over there. Because I don't. I want this area to be uh, as dark as possible. Unless, and I do want to build uh, a lightning system where I can press a button and all the lights turn on. I press a button, all lights turn off. And then that way I can control when the spawner is or isn't active. Which I think is something that I should do. Anyways, I guess that's uh, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I wanted to work on this episode. I wanted to work on the functionality of the spawner. I wanted to make it work. I want to make it in such a way that it, it would, could be used. We could gather items and XP from it. And we can, as you can see, the mobs are dropping. Uh, about drop rates, well, to increase the drop rate, we need to... Uh, I, not we. I need to go around these Venomine Shaft and light up the place. So there's... Uh, so there's more chances that the spawner here will spawn uh, mobs, but for the for the time being, I think this is this is good. Uh, next episode, uh, we might be we might start working on that uh, village on uh, that zombie villager area. I think I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. This is what we have uh, accomplished in this episode. This farm. I'm pretty happy. It's working. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay off camera, collecting some experience and doing some enchantments, so we can start getting uh, uh, on some uh, final gear as soon as possible. But um, yeah, this is gonna be it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.